Welcome to our 727 600 horsepower rebuild part 15. In this video, we'll be showing you how to assemble the rear gear train. The parts we'll be replacing is our rear band, our, our band drum, our rear annulus, our rear planetary. As you recall, originally this had a three pinion planet. We're going to install a four pinion planet. We've got the reaction shell. Uh, the front planet, which originally also had three pinions, we're going to convert it to a four pinion. Our, our rear annulus and, of course, our output shaft. We're going to start off with our rear band. When fitting our rear band, it's important to locate it up against the locating lug found inside the uh, rear anchor strut. Once the band has been inserted, you, will, you can see that it will have a comfortable fit. We can then go and grab our rear band drum. As you recall earlier, when we installed our bolt-in sprag, we used this drum to, to check and make sure our sprag was working um, uh, in the proper sequence. To confirm this, your drum should spin clockwise and lock anti-clockwise. So uh, spinning the drum and allowing it to spin clockwise is a correct way, um, anti-clockwise is incorrect. Once we've done that, we can swing your case around, grab our output shaft. I have already pre-installed our two new rings on the back. Um, I like to apply a bit of uh, uh, Vaseline or some sort of petroleum jelly uh, to make the rings, uh, to help actually the, the rings that give it a bit of an assistance. Once we're comfortable, we can just insert the output shaft in, making sure we don't break any of our two rings. We can then go ahead, swing our case back around. We grab our re annulus with the washer, insert that over our shaft, we can then grab our rear planet, there's no, uh, there's no thrust washer in between the rear planet and the annulus, there's just that metal washer which you saw. We grab our shell with our two sun gears, our front planet on the annulus, just swing that around and insert that over our spline of the output shaft. Then we can grab our snap ring or our circle with our circle pliers, just feed that over the shaft and that's what holds the whole rear gear train all together. As to make sure that everything is functioning and intact, you can spin your output shaft left to right, left to right, and by doing this, you should get the clockwise, anti-clockwise motion on your front shell. So there you have it. That's our rear gear train all assembled. 